Stop! Don't uproot them! The surprising power of tomato roots and cabbage stalks you never knew! Every gardener knows the feeling of pride after harvesting the last ripe tomato or pulling out the final cabbage from the garden bed. The natural instinct after this harvest is to reach for the shovel, rip out the remaining roots, and clear the soil for the next round of planting. It feels neat, clean, and efficient. But this one habit, digging out cabbage stalks and tomato roots, is one of the most destructive mistakes you can make in your garden. What looks like waste is, in truth, a natural powerhouse for soil health and future harvests. At Soil and Crop Central, we believe that simple, natural practices can transform your garden without the need for expensive fertilizers or constant chemical treatments. Today, we reveal why you should never dig out cabbage stalks and tomato roots, and how this small change can set the stage for richer soil, healthier crops, and larger harvests year after year. You know, tomato roots and cabbage stalks are more than just leftover plant matter. They're actually biological engines that keep working for your soil, even after the plants have stopped producing. Over the course of a season, these structures really shape the underground environment in some pretty unique ways. Tomato roots, for example, secrete compounds like solanine, which is a natural substance that deters pests and suppresses harmful soil fungi. So in effect, these roots act as a kind of built-in disinfection system, protecting your soil from disease pressure long after the plants have been cut down. If you remove them, well, you strip away this invisible shield. Now, cabbage stalks, on the other hand, act as nutrient banks. Especially with late-season varieties, these stalks often hold reserves of minerals and organic compounds that the plant never fully used up during growth. Leaving these stalks in the ground, it creates a slow-release system of nutrients, gradually enriching the surrounding soil. Earthworms are the unsung heroes of any healthy garden, you know, constantly aerating the soil and converting organic matter into rich humus. When you leave cabbage stalks and tomato roots underground, you provide them with a natural feast. As worms burrow through the dense stalks, they create tunnels that improve air circulation and water movement in the soil. Meanwhile, their digestive process breaks down the tough plant matter into soft, crumbly compost right where your crops will grow. What you end up with is a bed that is lighter, looser, and naturally fertilized. If you pull everything out and toss it on the compost pile, or worse, the trash, you deny the worms their food source and leave your soil compacted, depleted, and vulnerable to erosion. The act of pulling up roots and stalks feels satisfying in the short term, but it sabotages your long-term soil fertility. Each time you dig and remove these structures, you break the cycle of natural enrichment. Without them, your soil becomes poorer in organic matter, less protected from pests, and less able to retain moisture. The result is a garden that demands constant external inputs, fertilizers, fungicides, insecticides, just to keep producing at the same level. Over time, costs rise, effort increases, and the soil itself becomes more fragile. By leaving roots and stalks in the ground, you save not only money, but also the health of your garden ecosystem. A practical method for tomatoes is, well, surprisingly straightforward, but its impact is really profound. Once the season is over, you shouldn't pull the plants from the ground. Instead, just cut the tomato stems cleanly at the soil line using sharp shears or a knife. It's important to resist the urge to dig up or yank out the roots. During the winter months, the root system will gradually decompose, leaving behind a network of tunnels. These hollow channels actually become vital pathways for water infiltration and airflow when spring comes back around. Plus, as the roots decay, they release nutrients slowly into the surrounding soil, making sure the next crop gets a balanced and steady supply of organic matter. This method doesn't just save you from the backbreaking labor of digging, it also helps protect the soil's microbial community, which really thrives around those decomposing roots. Alright, 
so cabbage requires a slightly different approach. After harvesting, you want to cut the stalk as close to the soil as possible, and you can use a spade or even an axe for this. It's important not to try pulling the root system out, just leave the stalk basin roots firmly in the ground. Now, if you want to speed up decomposition, here's a simple trick. Prepare a basic microbial solution by mixing 10 milliliters of an effective microorganism. Concentrate with 1 liter of water and pour it directly onto the remaining stalk. This will really accelerate the breakdown process so by spring, the stalk has pretty much disappeared into the soil, leaving behind soft, fertile earth. The transformation is, honestly, pretty remarkable. Instead of a hard clump where the stalk once stood, you'll find a loose, nutrient-rich patch that's just perfect for delicate crops. So, what should you plant after tomatoes and cabbage? Well, crop rotation is really essential in maintaining soil balance and preventing the buildup of pests. Fortunately, the unique benefits of tomato roots and cabbage stalks actually create the perfect environment for specific plants in the following season. Where tomatoes once grew, the soil becomes naturally resistant to pests like wireworms and is rich with organic matter. This makes it an excellent location for crops like cucumbers, zucchini, pumpkins, or even carrots. These plants really thrive in the loosened soil and benefit from the disease resistance that remains after the tomatoes. Where cabbage stalks have decomposed, the soil becomes light, airy, and filled with organic nutrients. Onions, beets, and lettuces just flourish in these conditions, rewarding you with abundant harvests in soil that, honestly, practically prepares itself. There's a, a financial dimension to this method that really can't be overlooked. By leaving roots and stalks in the ground, you actually reduce your dependence on external inputs. You end up spending less on fertilizers, pest control, and soil conditioners. The savings can be substantial, sometimes up to several thousand rubles each season. And, you know, beyond just saving money, you also save time and energy. Instead of exhausting yourself digging out those stubborn stalks and roots, you just let nature perform the hard work. Over time, your soil becomes self-sustaining, capable of supporting healthy crops with minimal effort from you. The core principle behind this method is... Well, simple. Respect the cycle of nature. Plants spend an entire season extracting nutrients and building biomass. When you discard their roots and stalks, you throw away the very resources they created for the soil. But when you leave them in place, you close the loop, returning everything back to the earth where it belongs. The decision to stop digging out cabbage stalks and tomato roots may seem small, but honestly, the results are extraordinary. You gain healthier soil, stronger plants, and bigger harvests without chemicals, without extra labor, and without extra cost. You invite earthworms and beneficial microbes to do their work, and you let nature build the fertility your garden needs. So the next time you finish harvesting tomatoes and cabbages, resist the old habit of clearing everything away. Instead, let the roots and stalks stay in place. Your garden will reward you with thriving crops, healthier soil, and harvests that will astonish not only you but also everyone who sees the results. If you found this guide from Soil and Crop Central helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this knowledge with fellow gardeners. Together, let's grow healthier soil and bigger harvests, one simple step at a time.